They are gallant heroes and heroines. They fought gallantly in different wars, engaged in different missions for national peace, unity and cohesion, and as well protect the nation against both internal and external aggressions. The fight against the contemporary insecurity in some parts of the country, ranging from insurgents, banditry, kidnapping, among other security threats, are clear testimonies to this. Beyond national assignment, the gallant men and women risk and lay down their lives at different expeditions, among other international peacekeeping missions. Remembering and honoring those dead and living heroes and heroines, however, remains significant, which the Armed Forces Remembrance Day tends to achieve. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day, observed on 15 January to commemorate the servicemen of the Nigerian Armed Forces and to honor veterans of World War I and II as well as Nigerian Civil War that sought to tear apart the unity of Nigeria, no doubt has become an annual tradition. However, beyond the usual parade of color, lay of wreath, traditional gun salute, release of balloons coupled with other reminiscences of the day, the retired servicemen and families of the dead heroes are calling for a better living. I want uh, the, the, the federal government to pay us our salary. The, 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 the areas, when they supposed to pay us, they didn't pay us. So we, we beg them by the name of God. We are suffering. Most of our people, they don't go anywhere else. So they are wounded, wounded soldiers. Say we go back to the missions we have attended. Ranging from Liberia issue, transferred to Syria alone. Then later, we even have that for issue. That is Saudi Arabia. So all over West Africa, we are the peacekeepers there. As a result, we want federal government to know that Legion, I say, or the group of ex service men are properly taken care of. The widows, I want you to help them. Because it's not easy. My, myself, I'm a wife of a soldier. And I know what we are facing in the barrack. Now they, they don't have husbands. I want the government to, to look at their situation, help them. Yeah, I think um, the government they should remember the family of the late heroes. At least most of them, they are not finding things easy. So they should remember them and at least send some stuff to them. As many have sacrificed their lives and of course mortgaged their peace for others to live and enjoy peace, many gallant soldiers are still in the front line even though death may hang in the air. The message of the living heroes and the families of the dead are clear, which is better life for them. In Adwekiti, Ayodi Jugunshaki, NTA News.